Welcome to Med in 5 channel. The topic in discuss is about amino acids. At first, I will explain the structure of a simple organic acid. Here it is a simple organic acid. Notice the highlights. The green one shows the carboxylic group, that gives the acidic properties, then the alpha carbon, which is the first carbon after carboxylic group. The rest of the structure is the radical group, shown with purple highlight. The radical group can be variable. Let's see the stereochemistry of the acid. In the middle is positioned the alpha carbon. Notice the carboxylic group, two hydrogens, and the radical group. This is an organic acid. If we substitute one of the hydrogens with an amino group, we will profit an amino acid. Notice the red highlight. It shows the amino group. So, amino acid is an organic acid where one hydrogen is substituted with an amino group. In this picture, the amino group is positioned on the left side, and the substance is named, L-amino acid. If we put a mirror and get its reflection, we will see the symmetrical, the D-amino acid, where the amino group is positioned on the right. All the amino acids have the same amino group and carboxylic group. But the radical group may be variable. Such as Nonpolar radical group, for example, methionine amino acid. Polar uncharged radical group, which can contain, alcoholic, sulfhydryl, or amidic group, for example, tyrosine amino acid. Notice the alcoholic group. Polar charged positively radical group, is the third one, for example, lysine amino acid which contains two amino groups, one is positively charged. The last is the negatively charged radical group, for example, glutamic acid, which contains two carboxylic groups, one is negatively charged. The charges depend on the pH and the titration conditions. Amino acids are essential in protein synthesis, nucleic acid synthesis, hem structure, etc. That was a brief summary of amino acids, from Med in 5 team. Thanks for watching. For other videos like this, please click subscribe.